after weeks of speculation, the farm families of the St. Albans Co-op have voted to approve a merger with the Dairy Farmers of America. Local 44 Seven Bates spoke with leadership at the co-op and joins us now with more. Devin? Well, Glenn, the co-op said the dairy industry is facing rapidly changing market dynamics and believe this will set their members up for a secure future. They'll now be joining 14,000 dairy farmers across the nation, but specifics on how it'll change operations in St. Albans remains to be seen. In their 100th year of operations, the St. Albans Co-op is merging with the larger Kansas City-based co-op Dairy Farmers of America. Harold Horrigan Jr. is the chairman of the St. Albans board and a sixth-generation dairy farmer and said it's been a long time coming. This uh, merger and vote today is a result of, you know, 18 months to two years of planning and work uh, with our board and staff of both organizations. And uh, as a dairy farmer and chairman of the board, I could not be prouder of the way our membership turned out today and uh, the support that they showed. The co-op has already been in partnership with Dairy Farmers of America since 2003, but the merger will expand member services and potentially help make their operations more efficient. It could be a risk management program. In some cases, we could use an energy program. In different parts of the country, they use grazing programs. Anything that we can do to try and figure out how to help a farm uh, farm a little bit better, maybe easier, more profitable, maybe a cost reduction in something they're buying, those are different types of programs that we utilize within DFA. The changes won't have any impact on the price paid to farmers for their milk, but there could be changes at the plant very soon. I think some of the investments you're going to start to see could happen almost immediately as we start to work with the plant engineers to modernize and refit the facility. We're also working to look at the transportation company and make investments there for both tractors and trailers. Now, the merger will officially close on Thursday, August 1st, and St. Albans Co-op CEO Leon Berthium said preserving the co-op's legacy will be a priority going forward. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.